Hello, welcome back to Teach Here, There, Anywhere. And today we are gonna be talking about another resource that I use and tool that I use in my OutSchool classroom. Now this is a tool I actually use um, both in live classes and in um, not live classes. I use it to make my thumbnails. I use it to make things like my backgrounds here. And it is just a really cool resource that you can use. And I'm going to walk through some steps with you to help you figure out all the different ways that you can use Canva. Let's jump into Canva. So this is Canva right here. Canva has a lot of different um, categories that you can make, but really what I come here, this is in templates and whatever I want to make. Let's say I want to make um, a YouTube thumbnail um, or like, and I, I a lot of times use the YouTube thumbnails for whatever I'm going to use. So there, if I say YouTube thumbnail, then it comes up with all of these different um, thumbnails already created, and then I can take these to adjust it to be whatever I want to be. Um, so for example, let's say I want to make um, one for animals, um, then I can use this template right here, and it jumps over to my screen, and then I can change all of these things out, whether I want to change the photo, and I could go animals, um, and I could find whatever is represents my class or whatever, and I can bring that background over here and use that for my classroom, um, and maybe I want to um, write that name. So animals in the wild. Um, and so this is just a simple way. Now, this is just one example of so many things you can do. There are so many different templates. If you wanna create a new design, all you do is come over here and put, um, you can choose presentation, which is what I use a lot for um, for out school. Um, and so I will go over here and it has all of these different designs and these are just the first page of it. So for example, it'll come here and maybe I want this one um, for this page and then I will come over here and just delete that out and find a photo or find an element that I really like and just change this out. The great thing that I really like is changing my colors. So my colors um, are that I really like that turquoise. I use it a lot in my stuff and like this blue. And so I will change the different colors to match whatever I would like it to do. And then I'll just come over here and edit um, the text as well. So I will fill this all out, and then all I need to do is I can, when I come to my classroom, when I um, share my screen on Zoom, um, I actually leave it not, um, not in present mode, but I do it here, um, and then I just scroll through my things, okay? That way I can um, use my screen, and I can also see my Zoom as well. Okay, so next, let's go home. So if you look here, here are all of your designs right here, down here, or you can just click right here and it brings all your designs. See the thing that I just did? Um, now here, for example, I have all of the PDF packets that I made, and then I have all of my lessons. For example, I teach one on Indonesia because I lived in Indonesia and I do a travel around the world, um, let's travel, um, and sto stories around the world. And that's really fun. And so whenever I teach that class, even if I don't teach it for months, I've got everything right here. And I love that it saves um, on the internet so that way you're not going to lose it. There's a less likely chance that you will lose something. So I love this. Um, this is one of the things, and when if I'm on Zoom, then I can actually have kids use their annotate and circle, where do you think um, Indonesia is? Um, where, you know, those sorts of things. So I have pictures in here. I've put my own personal videos that I've taken. I have put 
so many different things that I use in my classroom. Another thing that I really like about this is if you actually look up templates, you can find games. Oops, sorry. Games. Um, and so it has like trivia nights and different things like that. And so for the end of my lesson, I actually went ahead and made one of those games and it has like categories, yes or no, multiple choice or true, false. And we'll just go through and students will be asked questions and they can do yes, no, and then it gives them the answer. And for example, you ask a question, true, false, and you can have them do thumbs up and thumbs down and all that, and then you can have them choose the answer. And so it's pretty, um, pretty easy thing to do. Um, but I really just love all of the amazing photos and elements that Canva has, and you're going to love it too, especially if you're um, looking for very simple ways to have very professional looking um, presentations. So I do presentations on here. I also do my thumbnails. Um, so like these are my ones that I do for my blog and they, um, I, they're created all with Canva. Very, very simple. When you're ready to download one, you, you will push this download and then you can choose um, an MP4 um, video, you can do a PNG, whatever you're going to do. Um, you can, if you have PNG, you could actually do this transparent background. Um, it's the PNG only, that's only available if you have the paid version. And you're going to push right here whatever page you would like. So if I just want page one, I would download right here. It's going to download right here, and then I can drag that onto my um, I can drag that onto my desktop for me to use. Okay. Another thing, any upload that you've ever do here um, can also be sa it's, are saved over here, so you can actually go back and access whatever you have uploaded that maybe you created on something else. Um, and then that's pretty awesome. There's also some music here. There are videos, um, backgrounds. Um, there are so many different things. I mean, this is incredible, guys. If you haven't tried it, it's super simple. It's, you know, you can do so many different things. You can create a brand kit. You can do so, so, so much. Um, Instagram posts. So these are just all different templates that you can use in whatever you're doing. I also create worksheets on here for since um with since with um out school you are not allowed to um or you would have to get permission to use anybody's teachers pay teachers or things like that unless it's um written on their terms of use. Um I make my own and I actually use them. I, I, I also sell them. Um, and so I sell them on Teachers Pay Teachers and I also sell them on um, a thing called Koala Teachers, um, which is brand new. So if we look right here, we have um, the resource. And so I had this and then they can cut out these resources here. I've made this all with Canva. Um, just using their elements that I found and um, the photos and text boxes and all of that. And then I have tools and then I'll have like the description of whatever they're going to do and the worksheet. The directions of what they're going to do and the worksheet in two different ways. Um, and these are all complemented with... Um, videos that I do on YouTube um, and I unlist them so they're not able to be seen by anyone except um, those that have paid for my out school class. Um, another thing I do is I have a, whatever matching game I have on Nearpod I also provide here. Um, so this is a matching game for um, practicing addition. So that's one thing I use. So this is what I do. So what I will do here is I will just create, um, I can add a new page, but over here I can type worksheet and then all of the different worksheets come up 
and I will choose which kind of template I want or I can create my own um, and then I can just bring that over here and add it to my thing and then adjust it and make it mine um, and it's pretty awesome so you will really love the ease of Canva and the things that you can do with Canva. Um, again, you can also create your thumbnail. I create all of my thumbnails for um, OutSchool here. So what I will do is I will find pictures and things like that. So if I go over here, I can choose a template if I would like. So for example, if I do this, do, 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 nature is an adventure. Okay, so now um, for, um, the, you can also resize it to whatever one, whatever size that you want as well. So for example, this one, um, when I actually upload it on, 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 I make it a little bit bigger here um, because I'll use it for different things, but then um, I just crop it down for my thumbnail. So, awesome. So yes, there are so many options, so many designs that you can do, so many designs that you can make, social media, events, marketing, documents, prints, videos, school stuff, personal, whatever you have. And it is amazing how much you will use this resource um, if you are going to be working at out school with flex classes. I create all my all of my PowerPoints on um, Canva and then I'll record them because I think it just has I like their designs. I like that I don't have to worry about pictures. Um, I like that all I have to do is go search and find whatever picture I don't have to be pull I don't have to pull them in unless I want to um, outside of that um, resource. So there's a little help in Canva. I hope it helps you. I hope you can see all the possibilities that you can. Um, and there's also a place that you can learn here as well. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions or if you want to know more, let me know. Okay, so what do you think? Is it something you want to use? Yeah. If you ever, if you have any questions about Canva, leave them below and let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. I hope this tool is useful for you as it has been for me. Um, and I really, really hope that you just are learning some tools that you can use, whether it be in your flex classes, whether it be in your brick and mortar school, or whether it be also right here on OutSchool. So I hope to see you soon.